Hey guys, so it's been around 16 hours since the Vichy versus the World chess match has ended. And so I just wanted to go over the game. So Vichy played the English and we played the most common moves uh, for a little bit, uh, which was the five. Um, and I don't know what the most common moves for white were, but... Let's see. E5, knight c3 is the most common. Knight f6, most common. And it's like one of the best moves to play in the position. Knight f3, knight c6, most common. G3, most common. All right. And then from here on out, it was pretty standard. I don't, yeah, like this is not. The most common bishop before, I don't think is. Uh, but we both uh, just played simple moves like uh, Vichy. Fink cut out the bishop, we castled. Pretty standard stuff. Um, here, I. It's not, I guess, not that good. I guess castles is best. Uh, but. Basically, the most or the main idea between Eng the English is that after we castle, Vichy can jump in with the knight. So now this bishop kind of looks dumb right here. And so, did we play e4 here? Yeah, okay, we did. Uh, point is that the knight has to go to h4, or if it undevelops, it's going to be better for us. And basically, we leave the pawn hanging, if I remember correctly. Um, it takes, yeah, so like takes. Um, but she could have taken the bishop. But again, like, even if the engine says it's the best move, it's practically I would not take it, honestly, because I don't know this knight's not really going anywhere anytime soon. So here we didn't. Play g5. A lot of people were saying g5, uh, and probably because some people might have been using the engine, but I mean, the knight is technically trapped. Uh, but we just played rook e8. They played b3, and then we played g5, which is not as good because white plays bishop b2, and there's a huge problem with this diagonal. But it is interesting. So we took um, anything else is losing to a fork. Uh, also, we're losing this knight. Basically, I don't think there's any good way of defending it. Like, best move apparently is this, which blocks. But there's probably like what? You take. Oh, wait. That is. You sacrifice the bishop, but you get the knight, but it's still bad. Um, takes, takes. So 97 was an option. Wow. Yeah, we should have gone 97. I think we still win the night, right? Oh, we take this pawn. Eventually we do win. Yeah, 97 would have been way better. We went 95, which is with... Which is not that bad, honestly. And, um, it was Bishop C5 check was like a, was interesting to me. But they can just play, I think, D3. And even if the knight hops in, the queen hops in H5. And basically, if the white's queen hops to H5, it's pretty much GG. So we take, Vichy takes, and. Still playing fine. E3, I think that's what he plays, which is the best move. Um, to bring the queen out here. And, like, what's crazy is the chat, we were constantly saying queen g5 is the move we should play. Queen g5. But for some reason, everyone wanted to take this pawn. Which just allows queen h5, and there's just no good way to defend, fortunately. Uh, rook f8. 
think people were talking about, even F5. Some people might have been talking about, but um, we t took, and now there's Queen H5, and we're getting destroyed. And we were also, like, a lot of people in the chat were saying, rookie seven, rookie seven. But uh, there's just a lot of players who aren't really caring about the game. They're just playing moves. They're not even looking at the chat, it seems. So they took another pawn. And I think they played rook. Uh, I think the cheap. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone was looking at this move because it was really good. But Vichy just played Queen G5 check, which is still winning. Um, oh, wow. That's interesting. So Torch is only giving plus three here. Ah, uh, we had to go to H8 to survive a little longer. But we went here, so yeah, then we were just completely destroyed. Ah. Uh, Like everything's winning. This is when I mean, we're just there's n like we have no pieces developed. This bishop's not this bishop's terrible. Um, yeah, I mean, this bishop can go come out here. I mean, it's just completely over. I wish you went here, like queen a5 plays like insane. I don't, I mean, yeah, we're on pinning, but. Maybe there's, oh my, like, yeah, it's just completely lost because if the queen moves, um, I mean, I guess it's not hanging at the moment, but there's this bishop that takes as well. Um, but I think Vichy gets like a forced mate. Wait, what? Bishop takes e3. Why didn't we, what is this? Why didn't we take? Distract the queen and then take that rook. Because this queen needs to help and it's tied down in this bishop. I didn't vote moves actually at this point. I just kept trying to resign because I was just so tired of it. Like I was really disappointed that we didn't uh, play queen g5 when we could have. But there was even like I think better moves. I was saying that f5 was better, but maybe it's not. But yeah, I, I really wanted queen g5. Um, but like, there were three candidate moves, but we didn't play them. We just got greedy. Paying attention. So eventually we did get checkmate. So let's see, go back here. Yeah, we took, and this is just completely over. Bishop f5. Giving up the bishop's better, but it doesn't matter. It's just completely lost. Is that just blunders of the bishop? And then obviously. Vichy's gonna find the mate. It's not get checkmated. Which is honestly a good thing that we got checkmated early because there's no reason for the game to keep going on. The thing about this whole match was that a lot of people were not, they were just voting instantly. They weren't even looking at the chat. Which the whole point of vote chess is to like debate in the chat before you vote on a move. Not enough people were doing that. So, I mean, basically, everyone was just looking at the opening book until, you know, played the last move in, a d in their databases or whatever. And then we got destroyed. So, yeah. That was the game. Um, I don't want to show, I think, uh, maybe... What happens after this check? Now, I really thought this move was interesting because there's only one move which I wish you would have played. Just d3. Because, uh, like, obviously, if d4, we just take en passant. And then king h3. I wanted this. Is that right? I guess you take, huh? Um, but yeah, after e3, I was thinking about just knight d3, 
three. Then yeah, takes. And I was just thinking like you could take the bishop. But then I was thinking there is some kind of checkmate attack. It's kind of interesting. Queen takes g five. I wanted to take this bishop because it's just like checkmate. Queen h5, yeah. And I remember seeing like, yeah, the rook goes to f6 and we lose. So we couldn't take, so we had to take here and bishop f6. Uh, yeah, I think Vichy would have played something like that. Yeah, I think Vichy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kick out the queen. Queen can't. Um, so yeah, that's the move I was looking at for a long time, but it doesn't quite work because of e3. And even though the knight gets to the d3 square, it's not good enough. Um, but let's look at one more move, which is queen g5 takes takes here, and then queen g5. Now, like, what's crazy is, wow, that's the best move. Yeah. I mean, this was such a good position for us. I mean, it's a double-edged sword. Like, but if, like, takes, we would take. Uh, I guess I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, so takes and then takes. Um, there's not really many other moves, so I'm sure Rishi would have played this. Um, after takes, I like queen c2. Like, I mean... Like here, I think we probably would have gone wrong in some way, but I mean, we got some, we got quite a bit of moves, so our position's not gonna have collapse immediately. But like, yeah, we want to be. I don't think we'd play, be playing this. That doesn't make sense to us. Probably eh, f6. I don't know if we'd play that. I mean, this pawn's gonna fall. This, yeah, I don't know if we'd play that either. I feel like we would play something like this, maybe. Or, uh, this bishop, I mean, this is probably bad. F5, I think F5 would make more sense to, uh, like, people. And, like, to me as well. But, uh, yeah, that's the game. Um, that's pretty much the analysis I wanted to cover. And I know, like, I was really adamant about 95 because I thought like Obviously only moves f4 and then like I thought it was gonna be good for us Especially because I saw Bishop c5 check and I also saw like queen g5 and like our queen gets active, right? Um, and the line that we got and if we played queen g5, I thought like we had an active queen so It looked promising to me. And obviously, I didn't know the engine evaluation it says it's a little better for white But I thought it was gonna be really Good for us. Um, so, that's it. Right here, yeah, I think 97 we should have played, honestly. I mean, knight b8 is actually a move. 97 is a move. I mean, I don't, I wonder, let's see what the best move is. According to Stockfish. 1.1. Unlimited. Let's see if it loads. Might not load. Torch is gonna load. Wow, it says actually. Wait, how is black better after 97? It says draw. Okay, what was the line? G takes. Wait, wait, wait. What? Oh. Yeah, I needed more depth to put pounds. Um, wait, D takes E5. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, this was just a really interesting game. We played Queen G5. Even the engine's not really sure at first who's better. First, it thought it was black, but you know, like it's double edged sword basically. Like, both kings are going to be open, so it was going to be a fun game. But fortunately, we never got that game. We just got a quick checkmate game. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.